You can stop now. This is what I mean about the winds. That tree used to lean due east. So the winds are coming more from the from the north now. Oh. Didn't know you two worked for the Weather Channel. Face it, Todd. The ships are going to be moving south. We can't reach the shipping lanes anymore. Well, maybe in five or six months. Those ships are huge. They don't give a damn what the weather is. When you're in a storm in the middle of the ocean, no ship feels big enough. Trust me. What's your angle? What? Well, this whole thing could be a trick, right? So, so what's the big plan? Are you going to steal the raft and leave without us? Do you have time to talk to me? Actually, later would be better. Later? Yeah. Yeah, that's really not going to work for me. You don't have time to talk to me now, Blair. After all, you had time to fire me, didn't you? What are you talking about? I think that it's really lame that you didn't have the guts to fire me yourself. Since when does Sam Rappaport do your dirty work for you anyway? Oh. There you go. I should take care of the paperwork to get Dr. Davidson transferred. Thank you. And Mr. Rappaport, yeah. you should know, your brother was very loved around here. Thanks, Mrs. Hogan. Thanks a lot. All right, back to reality. Oh, you know what? One more kiss before. Mm. All right, I had to get to work. Hey, Sam. Miss Hogan, uh, you know what? I want to get my regular work schedule reinstated. You got a moment? Hey. You must feel relieved. What? About Lindsay, about her being captured again. My God, now we can all get our lives back to normal. I saw that. Um, Sam? Yeah. Are you okay? What's wrong? Uh, there's no way you would know, is there? Know what? It's about Ben. How'd you know? How'd I know what? Oh, don't bother playing dumb with me, Roxy. You may sound like a grade school dropout, but when it comes to your own survival, you're just as smart as you need to be. Finally figured that out, huh? Oh, yeah. Yeah, right about the time Judge Fitzwater gave you everything I own. So, come on. How'd you know to show up in court this morning? So, what's the word on Lindsay Rappaport? Yeah. Yeah, I know she's back in Statesville. What I don't know is what she said about how she got out in the first place. But no, no, don't, don't you try it, man. I pay you plenty to be my mole. Yeah, because you are wired to that department better than cable. So get in there and find out what Lindsay's saying. If she tells anyone that I helped her, I'll lose it. I'll lose everything. I'll lose my daughter. I'll lose it all. I don't got all day. Why not? It's my order of Governor Miller. Who are you? B.J. Comstock. I'm the governor's personal aide. What are you doing here? He's here because I told my grandfather all about you. What? I'm sorry. I, I don't understand. It's really quite simple, Miss Rappaport. You've been pardoned. Are you going to get the door, hubby, for life, or should I? Okay, you won this round, but the fight isn't over. Not according to Judge Fitzwater. She's a real sweetheart, isn't she? I didn't notice. I was too busy being skinned alive. Hey, Maxie, Maxie, you know, you could have everything that you had before, unless you try to duck out of this marriage. In that case, Judge Fitzwater, she's going to cook your goose. 
<laughs> Duck, goose. <laughs> Get it. Pardon me while I pour some arsenic. You don't gotta try to serve that to me, all right now? This is for me. Well, are you gonna get the door? You are the mistress of the house. I'm just a guest. I like the way you think, honey. Okay, look. I told you about Max's court date. Now, you be sure to keep your mouth shut about seeing me with Allison. Got it? Pleasure doing business with you. Oh, hi. You're the friend of Maximilian. Uh, come on in. Don't stand out there. You know, like they say in Tijuana, mi canasta es su canasta. Hey, Maxi, look, your friend is here. Uh, uh, PJ. RJ? Hmm. You look like hell on a bad day. Yeah, well, we've all been better. What's up? Roxy, how about you make us some coffee? Is that a subtle way of telling me to get lost? Oh, I didn't think it was subtle at all. Did you think it was subtle? I didn't think it was subtle. No. Trouble? Oh, yeah. Big? Well, I may have to disappear for a while. Wow, that's big. I wish I could disappear with you. Somehow, Roxy found out about my court date. Blew me right out of the water, right in front of Judge Fitzwater. Upshot, I'm more married than ever. Yeah, 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 I know. But look, Max, I know. Need... How'd you know? Well, you know, when she opened the door, I assumed. Listen, listen, all my cash is tied up in Capricorn in that gallery. So if you could uh, give me a cash advance, I can give you a few paintings for collateral. Yeah, yeah, I can do that. So what's the deal? Why the sudden exit? Oh, look, I can't explain, okay? But if you could have the cash here for me when I come back, I mean, uh, let's see if it's not too late already. What am I being pardoned for, escaping from prison? As well as the crimes for which you were originally incarcerated. The governor thought it was only right, considering your heroism. Oh, Goldilocks a hero? Let me talk to this governor. I'll tell him what a wuss she is. She saved my life. I told my grandfather everything. How we were prisoners of that weirdo and how you kept her from shooting me. Your grandfather knows the governor? My grandfather is the governor, Miss Rappaport. In short, you're free. I'm free? I'm free. I'm free. All the governor asks is that you're not going to file the law again, at least not until after the next election. Oh, you tell the governor not to worry. I saw what this did to my kids. I'm never going to do anything that would separate me from them again. The governor's driver can take you wherever you want to go. Really? Wow. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you. What the hell for? For making me appreciate the life I had before all this. And one last parting gift. A little filthy laundry to remember me by. exhausted because I was up half the night with my little boy, so maybe I didn't hear you correctly. Sam fired you? Before I even had time to put my feet up on the desk. Yes, Blair, he fired me. Well, maybe you just misunderstood. But you know what? He has been a little overprotective of me lately. Maybe he was just warning you, you know, not to step out of line. Blair, when I've been fired, I know it. Okay, well then, in that case, oh man, you go through these letters. Letters to the editor, go through the, the crank ones, you know, the Elvis sightings, the little green man, things what, like that. What, are, are you rehiring me? What is no, Chad, because I never fired you. I'm the only one that has the power to do that. Tell you what, look, if I'm not back, by the time you finish all of those, send those down to op-ed. Oh, wait, where are you going? I'm going to have a little talk with my attorney about the chain of command around here. You got me, Manning. I'm out of control. Taya chose you over me, so I'm going to steal the raft and take off. The raft's finished. It's not that crazy of an idea. No, not for you. 
That's what you decided to do when you saw me and Taya together. Todd, this is about the weather. But guess what? I'm not like you. And that thought's gonna keep me alive and smiling until we get a chance to leave here. Ross, don't take it personally, okay? We're all under a lot of stress. No stress. Right. Maybe that explains why you chose to be with him. Someone who thinks I'd actually steal the rap and leave you here. Okay, let's all three take a deep cleansing breath, shall we? You know I would never do that to you. I would never, ever do that to you. Even if you did choose this jerk. I still think he's planning to take the rap. Todd, Ross is not planning on taking the rap. Mm -hmm. And he's no threat to you either. Oh, hell no. Because I'm not interested in him. But if he's right and we have to be here six months or more, I can't keep having to reassure you of that every hour of every day. So tell me right now, do you believe me or not? Todd, it doesn't help if I ask you a question and you walk away. How sure are you that Ross is right about this? Very. Look, Todd, we're going to be able to survive, I promise you. Yeah, well, well, well just because Gilligan found another berry patch? Oh, uh, don't start getting that way, Look, Todd. Look, i got to see my kids. We're not supposed to not see my kids again for, for another six months? Look, I'm sorry about your kids, but at least you know they're going to be okay. Yeah, well, we're feeding them lies. Listen to me. You are going to be in a good position when you get back. What does that mean, a good position? Legally, you'll have been gone for a very long time. Yeah. So long that my kids may think that I'm dead or that I stopped loving them. They may think that. Blair may be stupid enough to tell them that. Well, she but, will. But listen to me, okay? When you get back, you'll have this incredible survival story. What court is, is going to stop you from seeing your kids? What? You're pretty sharp. I mean, here you are, you're stuck on, on an island, and you're still figuring out a way to use it as an angle. That's why I get paid the big bucks. Yeah. I guess, you know, if I'm gonna be stuck on an island, well, having you here, it kind of okay. From what I heard, Lindsay and Allison were holed up in Vicky's cabin, and they had hostages, Vicky and some college kid, and, 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 and uh, the police arrived. Allison had a gun, Antonio fired, and, and Ben was hit. Oh, my God, Sam, he's not, he's not dead. No. Uh, death might have been a blessing compared to what happened. He's... He slipped into a coma, and um, the doctors, they think that uh, it's irreversible. Oh, God, Sam. Oh, Sam, I'm so sorry. Troy, I, I just heard something as I was coming in about one of the doctors in your clinic. Is, is it true? Was he shot? Yeah, I just I just found out myself. It was actually Sam's brother. I think Sam's taking it pretty hard. It's a good thing Nora's with him now. Doesn't that make you a little uncomfortable, Nora being with her ex? No. I mean, at a time like this, I mean, I mean, come on, what kind of person would I be if it did? A normal person? What? With normal feelings, like jealousy? Well, that's because normal people don't get the chance to learn how destructive jealousy is. Unfortunately, I did. Because of what happened with Joanna? Yeah. Well, that's okay. I mean, I've, I've made my peace with what happened with Joanna. And I'm, I'm okay with Nora and Sam. In fact, I'm okay with a lot of things in my life right now. I guess that was Joanna's final gift to me. Good. They managed to ship him off to uh, a rehab facility in Switzerland. It's his, it's a long shot, but it's Ben's only long shot. Okay, Sam, what can I do? Can I do something? There's nothing anybody can do right now. Nothing. But thanks. As a matter of fact, I, um, I just want to be alone with my thoughts right now. Of course, I know you're not really here. You're on a flight to Switzerland. How about that paw of mine hire me a whole air fleet? That old curmudgeon cared more than I thought. I think more than he even thought. You know, I always wanted to visit the Alps. 
I just hope I get a chance to yodel. Oh, thank you. That's the band that I needed to hear. The one that I'll remember. Always. I'm counting on that. Because I don't want you thinking of me hooked up to all those machines on the other side of the world. This is the real me. A memory. Why not? Dreams and memories are all I know of the world now. I gotta tell you, it's not that bad. You know, in three years, you gave me enough memories to last a lifetime. What I'm gonna remember most are your eyes. The way they shine in the morning. Sparkle in the afternoon. place where all those memories began. I know. First time I came here, I was at a crossroads in my life. I didn't know really who I was or what I wanted. All I knew was that I was lost. I remember that. And then I met this most marvelous man. And he showed me the way home. He was one lucky guy. It's real. I'm free. Hey, Will, it's me, Mom. Um, I'm calling you from the gallery. I've, I've been released for good. Really, I'm dying to talk to you, honey, so call me, okay? Call me just as soon as you can. I love you. Oh, a bath. I'm gonna take a real bath. Wait a minute. the only one. He's, a, he's the only one that knows that really happened between me and Allison. He's the only one that could send me back to Statesville. No, 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 wait. Wait, wait, it could be bugged. Think. Just take it easy. First things first. Wash your face. Change your clothes. Find Jen. Then you worry about RJ. Maybe Ross will, you know, bury himself in sand on the other side of the aisle. <laughs> what? Come on, that's funny. Todd, you never answered my question. I forgot. Well, then I'll remind you. I'm not going to live with this constant jealousy anymore. You have to promise me right here and right now that you trust me and that you know Ross is no longer a threat. Oh, well, why do I have to do that? Well, if you don't, I'll leave. 
for good. No more chances, Todd. I've left you once before when I still loved you. And I'll do it again. Okay. She needs this. Uh, she probably doesn't. But what if she does? Oh, Sam, I heard something that upset me, so I called your office and asked your secretary where you were, and she told me that you were here. My hope is that it's not true. I'm sorry to say it is. Well, at least you're sorry about it. I can say that much for you anyway. Excuse me? How do you... Where do you get off firing Chad or anybody else at the Sun without even asking me, without telling me? Huh? You know, if I wanted your help, I would ask for it, but I didn't, and I don't want that kind of help, all right? Mr. Rappaport, Dr. Wallach just called from the plane. They're two hours out of Geneva. He'll call you back once your brother's been admitted to the Institute. Thank you, Mrs. Hogan. Okay. Wait, she... Wait a minute, Sam, is, what, what happened? Is something happened to Ben? Blair, or? Allison, and Lindsay were caught by the police, and there was gunfire. And Ben was shot. He was wounded, and he's in a coma. Oh, Probably Sam. for the rest of his life. I'm so sorry. How's, uh, how's Sam doing? He's like a man who's had half his heart ripped out. Yeah. I don't understand. Life can be so good, and then it's so fragile. You know something? I need to talk to you. Please. Huh? What is it? Look, Nora, this is a lesson that doctors learn every day. No one promised us tomorrow. All you can do is count on today. Right here, right now. And I just want you to know that I love you. Thank you. I love you, too, so much. You know, you weren't the only one lost in here the night you walked through that door. Oh. Yeah, but you were kind of lost on purpose, weren't you? Running away from the mob. I was lost way before then. I mean, passion of gangsters was my world. It's not exactly a resume for romance. You're the most romantic man I've ever known in my life. It's because of you. You gave me two things I never knew. Love and life. Well, you gave me an extraordinary life. <laughs> because of you, I did things I never even thought I would try. <laughs> You mean like singing karaoke? <laughs> Congratulations. You won first prize for your rendition of I Will Survive. Well, thank God I will always have these. But how will I really survive? How can I? Without you. is what are you doing here? I heard you've been caught. Did you break out of Statesville again? Do I look like I'm dressed for a prison escape? You cut a deal, didn't you? Didn't you, Lindsay? You've been talking to my brother, the DA. What are you talking about? Did you give me up after I helped you over and over again? That would be a very, very bad idea. 
No, I didn't give you up. Then how did you get out of Statesville? I was given a governor's pardon. For what? I mean, your sculpture's bad, but it doesn't need a governor's pardon. I saved the governor's granddaughter from getting shot by Allison. Come on, Lindsay. You wouldn't risk your neck for anyone. Well, I guess that extreme circumstances bring out a person's good side. Hmm. If they have one. So what were you doing? Using the girl for a shield? I saved her from a bullet. That's all that matters to the governor. Look, I've got a second chance here, and I'm going to take it. I want to be the kind of mother that Jen wants me to be. <laughs> yeah, for about three days. No, I mean it. I am really going to change. What you see standing before you is a new Lindsay. It's funny. Looks like the old one. Funny. Looks like the old RJ. Hola. I guess I won't be needing these anymore. Don't worry. I'll have them reframed. Don't bother. I'll just deduct it from the check that I send you for the gallery. Fine. Fine. Whatever. Easy come, easy go. But tell me, if you're not dolled up for the police, what? You have a date? No. As a matter of fact, that's another thing that's going to change. I don't live for men anymore. It's a surprise to my daughter. I finally learned what's important in this life. Are you going someplace? Afraid it was my turn to desert you. No, honey, come on, take me with you. That kind of defeats the whole purpose, doesn't it? Oh, Max, you know, they say a change of scenery is really good for marriage. I read that under the dryer at La Bernice House of Beauty. The only thing that would help our marriage is if one or both of us gets a brain transplant. You know, baby, you're stuck with me, so you might as well try to get something out of it. So, uh, why don't we go upstairs and have a little pillow talk? Get this straight. I have to be married to you. I don't have to be under the same roof. I know you've got patients to see before you take me to the airport. Yeah, but I'll be as quick as I can. Okay. I hope Sam's gonna be okay. Oh, so do I. Ben isn't coming back. That's what they tell me. Barring a miracle, and I think my family has used up its quota. I'm so sorry, Sam. Yeah, well, at least Ben went out, um, you know, the way, he, his way, saving somebody that he loved. He always put himself last. Yeah. Hey, are you okay? Yeah, I'm gonna be fine. I, I have to be, I have to be. I, for my kids, which means I've got some calls to make. Well, you make them, and let me tell you, if you need to talk to anybody, talk to me. If you need anything, Sam, I'm there for you, all right? I need the one person I'm never gonna, never gonna have again. Me too, Sam. Me too. I don't know, Ben. I really don't know how I'm gonna get through this crisis without you. What crisis? Nikki Smith is back in her bottle. But I, I still don't know why she came out, what she wanted. And until I do, I can't shake this fear. What, that she's gonna come out again and cause havoc? Then you won't be there to help me. You don't need my help for that. Or anything else. I mean, if you did, what would that say about everything we learned from each other? I know my life is not going to stop because I'm alone. But it just won't be as beautiful as the life I have with you. Why did it have to end like this? Everything does sooner or later. But we had so little time. I'm grateful for every second. You know, your life before me was all guns and violence. We never even managed to escape that because it was a bullet that took you away. It was also a bullet that brought us together. You remember that slug you dug out of my shoulder? Those surgeons could learn a thing or two from you. The only time I ever turned away from you was because you were so determined to end your feud with Asa on a gun. 
and we lost so much time because of my stubbornness and then my illness. Yeah, but we got back together right here in this room. You remember that? Oh, and I couldn't forget that. They played our song. I called out your name. was a flame Not the spot that somehow died Okay means that you won't be jealous anymore? You know, I always thought that you made you feel kind of important if I went all crazy because you were with other guys like... Sometimes it was the only way I knew you cared. But now it doesn't make me feel important. It makes me feel miserable. And I, I just can't take it anymore, Todd. Yeah. Okay. I love you, Todd. I've been with other people. And I cannot forget you. Do you understand that? you which is probably really stupid because you did betray me about my kids <laughs> we're not gonna get into that again are we no that was yeah you, you know that was that was before Did you get everything straightened out? What's wrong? A good friend of mine just went into a coma, and I don't think he's going to come out. Oh, my God, I'm sorry. It's Jack's godfather. Star really loves him a lot. I don't know how she's going to handle it. I'm gonna handle it. Listen, it, it's gonna be okay. No, I don't. I don't think it's gonna be okay, Jed. Not this time. I don't, I don't think it's gonna be okay. In a misty dream last night, I saw that old smile that I missed.
One way or another, I'm gonna make Maxie want me to be here. Scott is my witness. I'm gonna make Maxie love me. So, I got a few things to wrap up before I go to Chicago and see Matthew and my parents, and, um, I'll come by here and get you before I... before we have to go to the airport. All right. Sounds good. Sorry I couldn't go this time, but next time, I promise you, okay? Okay. Now, yeah. Absence makes the heart grow fonder. <laughs> I couldn't be any more fond of you than I already am. You're that was so good. sweet. Yeah, that I was good. I practice it. Bye. All right.